Hi everyone, so you can obviously see from the title that I'm going to be recreating Kim Kardashian's makeup look that she used with her contour sticks. I went to Walgreens and picked up basically all of Wet n Wild's uh, contour sticks when the reviews of the Kim Kardashian West contour sticks were coming out because um, after watching those videos, I decided that I will not be purchasing the contour kits or the contour sticks, um, not because I have anything against Kim. I really do wish that I could afford to support her, honestly, because I really love that family. Like, I could go into an, like another video about this, but I really do like that family. I like the Kardashians and I like the Jenners, and for reasons that, you know, like I can talk about another time, but... Um, I really do like that family, and I wish that I could support her, but I can't afford to spend $48 on a contour kit that doesn't have a great amount of product in it. The amount of product that you're getting is so little that I can't really justify spending that much money on that product right now. And I know that there's probably a lot of other people that are in my place right now, so I wanted to go ahead and try to recreate her entire look using affordable options and you know wet n wild is like the first brand to come to mind when you think of affordable options at the drugstore and i have tried these contour sticks before not the um not the lighter ones but the like the regular contouring sticks i have tried before i bought them when they were first released back in like january or february or around that time um, my sister did take them from me, so I hadn't seen them, so I just repurchased them. Um, I bought them about a week ago, and I've been using them basically every day. I really love how they blend out. I love how they look. As you can see, I really did create a beautiful look, and I literally only used the Wet n Wild Contour Sticks all over my face today, even my lips. Um, I did cheat because you'll see me do this in the video, but, you know, you'll see what my lips look like with just the Contour Sticks, but... For me personally, I don't love a really nude look. Like, I love a nude lip. So I did go in with Max Spice to kind of... I don't know. It didn't make such a big difference, but it made like a little bit of difference where it added some color back into my skin. Um, which is just, you know, what I wanted or whatever. And I did have my eyebrows on already, and I did put a little bit of mascara on. I don't think Kim put mascara on in her video, but we aren't all blessed to look like Kim. So, you know, you have to do what you gotta do. I did also have the Wet n Wild foundation ready to go because I was gonna put some underneath, but I ended up not even using it. I just went ahead and did it and I completely forgot about it. But I love how the look turned out anyway. My skin is acting pretty well right now, so I didn't really think I needed it. Um, but if you wanted to go in with like a little bit of concealer before you started your contouring and highlighting, that's totally fine. Like, I would recommend doing that because if you have like a little bit more of problem areas but right now my skin looks pretty good so I was able to get away with just using the contour sticks which is so awesome and I really hope that this video does help you maybe find something interesting or find a new way to use a product or maybe you really like these contour sticks so you go ahead and get them and I'm totally not bashing Kim's makeup line like I really do wish that I could support her my dog is biting the crap out of my hand Will must you have to stop you have to stop Wilma. Oh, she's so warm. I really do wish I could support her, but I just can't afford to do that right now. Um, maybe when she comes out with other things. Like, I'd really like to see her come out with, like, lipsticks or something. Like, brow products, maybe, because she has, like, incredible brows. But maybe down the line, I'll be into buying some of that stuff. But that contour kit, I'm just not... Wilma, you are so crazy right now. But that contour kit, I am just not really into. But I really was into the look that she created with it. So I wanted to recreate it with products that were more affordable, more readily available, and things that were just as easy to use as the contour sticks that Kim uses. Obviously, I had to bring in some brushes because they're kind of thick. They're not as skinny as Kim's products are. Um, which is kind of the only downfall, but, you know, you're able to work with it. Like, when you're on a budget, you kind of just have to make do with what you've got and, um, improvise and get smart. So that's basically what this video is all about. It is going to be a voiceover, but, you know, whatever. If anything else to say, oh, I do want to mention that I did pick up the Wet n Wild blush stick, and don't bother. I really wanted to make this work because I like the color of it and I love a good cream blush, but... This is honestly horrible. 
I put it on my face and I would try to blend it out and it would just smear and then smear my makeup underneath it and it would just be a mess and then I would be annoyed and then I would have to go out in public like that because I had no other choice but whatever like sure um, but anyway I really hope that you enjoy I hope that you learn something I hope that this inspires you to recreate Kim's look with your own products that you have why are you biting my finger why are you biting my finger yeah, I really wish that I had like a shirt that like matched Kim's and I wish that my hair looked as nice as hers does in a ponytail, but we can't all be Kim Kardashian West. So I'm going to start out with the matte highlighting shade as kind of like a like concealer type deal. That's how Kim used her light matte shade in her contour kit. So I'm using it the same way on my face with the Wet n Wild sticks. And now I'm obviously just contouring. I'm using the lighter contouring stick for all over my face. And I'm doing the exact method that Kim used with the three on both sides. And then I'm going in and contouring my nose a little bit. And then I take the darker contour stick and blend it into the cheekbones. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, which is my favorite brush for cream contouring. And I'm just going to blend it all out. And looking at this footage, I'm realizing that these contour sticks are really, really warm. I'm not entirely sure that they would look great on people that are, like, really pale. But, I mean, try it out. See what works for you and stuff. I do think that they have another color anyway, but it was, like, too light, so I didn't get it. But now I'm just blending out my highlight or my concealer type thing with a different brush. And I go back in with the sculpting brush just because I wanted that area to be a little bit more warm. But the brush that I'm using is actually from Amazon and it came in a set of brushes for $10 and I have a review about the brushes on my channel. So you can check that out when you're done watching this video or you can leave this video and watch that video or whatever you want or you don't have to watch any of the videos. But I'm just taking my Real Techniques sponge and I'm going to like blend everything out because it's just what I like to do. Um, and then I clean up my contour a little bit and then I'm going straight in with my finger and one of the contour sticks and blending it on my eye to kind of just, I don't know, make things a little nicer. I like how it looks, so I'm going to do it a little bit more depth. And now I'm taking a little pencil brush and I am lining my lower lash line with the contour stick. And then I am taking a more shimmery highlighting contour stick. And I'm putting it on all the high places of my face. And then I am taking that same brush that we used to blend out the matte highlight. And I'm blending out the shimmer highlight. And what you see me doing now is something that Kim did. She put her contouring stick on her cheeks to kind of give more warmth to the face. Instead of putting blush on. And I really liked that look. So I did that here. And now I'm putting the contour sticks on my lips. Her contour sticks looked better on her lips, but it could have just been because nudes look better on her. I don't know. I really don't love the look of a really nude, nude lip, but I fix it later, and I mean, some people might like it, so it's really just preference. What I'm doing now is just taking the shimmer highlight and putting it in my inner corner. Nothing special, but what I do now is really interesting, and it's something that Kim did. She didn't use a brush because her contour sticks are really thin, so they fit nicely in the waterline. But I took a brush with the matte highlighting shade, and I put it in my waterline just to brighten up the area. And I thought that that was really interesting that Kim did that, so I went ahead and recreated that look, obviously. Um, and then I'm just blending it out with the pencil brush, just so it's not very harsh and there's no product on my actual lashes, which happens sometimes. Um, but this is a look so far without adding any mascara or anything. It looks really nice and fresh and whatever. I'm setting my face with a matte setting spray just so I don't get super oily. And then I am just taking some mascara and putting it on my lashes, obviously. But that's just the end of the look. I really hope that you enjoy. I think everything came out really nicely. This is definitely like my go-to look right now. Oh, and here's... The little clip of me fixing my lips with Spice Lip Liner by MAC, and I like how it turned out better. Um, but yeah, that's basically all. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.